nice course to show here. And, you know, just kind of keep everything in perspective. Yeah, 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 Bob. I mean, I'm, I'm excited about you playing football, brother. So Thanks. I don't know what everybody Thanks. else is going off on the tangent on. <laughs> I know you're going to give New York what we're looking for. I know you're going to come out and do your thing, man. I love your work, uh, your work ethics, man. I like what you do when you're out there on that field. Here's a question I got, a little sidebar for you, though. Fluffy and I can't make the game, okay? What? Fluffy and I can't make the game. But here's what I wanted to ask you, man. Hold on, who's Fluffy? I'm sorry, Fluffy. Fluffy is is, is uh, uh, my poodle, my <laughs> dog. Fluffy is my is my poodle. And I wanted to ask you this, man. Fluffy is feisty. <laughs> Do you know a, a a poodle ring that I could put Fluffy in, and Fluffy might, you know, because Fluffy likes Shit. to fight. Hello. I want to know if there's a ring out there I could get Fluffy involved. Hello, bro. I can't. No, hello, bro. What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Doug. It's your boy, Ross. And we're in the Clutch. Hey, hey. back to ladies and gentlemen. Another bitch today, you feel me? Nephew Tommy, Michael Vick, prank? Hmm, this should be an interesting one. So, so he prank Michael Vick. This should be a good one. I, I'm, I'm interested to see what he what he said, man. To make Mike Vick lose is cool. Yeah, we're going to check this out. Appreciate all love and support. Appreciate Try it. not to laugh per usual. Mm -hmm. And let's get right into this one, man. Let's get into this, Mike. Him yeah. pranking Michael Vick, man. Interesting. He could go. Damn, oh, he, oh, oh, he did it again. Oh, he did it Mike again. Mike Vick, go to Oh, yeah. This is Paul Jefferson with Crazy Zone. Crazy Zone Radio Sports. We're here. We got Michael Vick on the line. This is definitely a future Hall of Famer here. Let me tell you something. We're I'm talking about football. We're talking about quarterbacking. Atlanta Falcons is where he started his career, moved over to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, gave them some <laughs> awesome years. But now he's got a new home right here in New York City, the New York Jets. Everybody in the crazy. Easy zone. Mm, Put your oh, hands yeah. together for the one, when he was the them. only, Mr. Michael Vick. Mike, what's going on, man? Hey, hey, how you doing? It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be on your show. This is my first time, and thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Hey, Mike, so you guys uh, just got out of practice, from what I understand. Yeah, just stepping out of practice. Had a great day. Uh, you know, some good things was done. You know, a couple touchdowns thrown. You know, a typical day for us. Good, good. Well, hey, man, let me tell you, everybody's excited about it. We've been talking about oh, it. No. Uh, once I told my listeners that you were coming in, the phone lines have been lit up. They are excited to talk to you. And I want to tell you something, man. New York City, we think we're going to see some changes since you're now on the roster. We think that we're going to be contenders here. So uh, I want to be the first one to tell you, welcome to New York City. That's from Queens. That's from Harlem. That's from Brooklyn. That's from the Bronx. Even right here in Manhattan, we are excited about Michael Vick being in the city. All right? Uh, absolutely. I'm happy to be in New York. It's, it's great to just in here. Uh, great fans, uh, great cast, great coach, and I uh, think it's going to be a phenomenal year. I'm, I'm very excited to be in New York. Good to have you, man. This is Paul Jefferson with Crazy Zone Radio Sports. We got Michael Vick in the hot seat. We're talking football. What's your question? Hey, Mike, how you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good, bro. Hey, man, welcome to New York. Hey, I want to say this here. Is son, that him I want to ask you this, man. Voice? What Michael Vick are we going to be getting? You know, are we going to get the old Michael Vick? Because that's what we're looking for. You know, I'm, don't don't come down here to New York with that punk <laughs> football. I'm, I'm, what uh, I mean is like this here. You drop back, you look for two seconds, and you get your ass up filled. We're talking isn't. about moving chains, baby. We're talking about moving chains. Oh, change. this that's is creative. That's the Michael Vick we looking for. What kind of Michael Vick can we expect? <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I expect to, to give it everything I got. I played the game with a lot of heart. Uh, I believe in myself and my teammates, and it was on the primary goal, and that's winning the Super Bowl. I'm just saying, look for two we, seconds and drop back. The, you know, the Michael Vick that used to, you know, hurdling over people, getting upfield. That, that Michael Vick right there, that Michael Vick move changed. That's what I'm talking about. Mike, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, right, we good. Let's keep, let's keep it moving. Come on, guys. This is Paul Jefferson, Bro, Crazy Zone so Sports Radio. Yeah, Who's this? Dude. Hey, my man. Hey, first of all, welcome to New York City, man. Uh, people, I'm in bed style. A whole lot of folks talking about you and coming through or whatever. Hey, Keep man, we're glad to have you bro. in New York. But li listen, I got something else to ask you on a different tip. Hey, when you was on lockdown, man, my cousin Big Kevin was in there. He said he was on D-Block with you. said you were supposed to send him uh, a jersey signed or whatever. Did you send it to him? Are you serious? Yeah, you're supposed to send an autographed jersey to Big Kevin on, on, on the D-Block. Really? Hey, can we get on to the next caller? Hey, Mike, I, I, I want to apologize again, man. Hey, man. Okay, hey, this is embarrassing. Hey, no. We're talking sports. This is sports radio, okay? We got a future Hall of Famer here. So if you call in, let's talk football, people. I'm let's go to uh, line seven, Raheem Shabazz. Raheem, you're in the crazy zone. 
Hello, my brothers. My brother Mike, how are you Surprise. doing, my brother? How, how you doing, Raheem? Peace be on to you, my brother. Here's what I would like to ask you, my brother. <laughs> is it true that right now Geno Smith is the starting quarterback of the New York Jets? Am I right, my brother? Yeah, that's right. Okay, my brother, so is your accomplishment is to come into New York City and be the starting quarterback, my brother? Yeah, that's that's the primary focus. Obviously, when you come into a situation where uh, you got to compete with a guy, you know, it, it, it ultimately brings out the best in you. and uh, You want to stay focused. You want to be the best oh, you can be so on a day and uh, week in, week out basis, day in and day out. And uh, you know that's that's the primary focus. Is there are no secondary goals, and that's what, that's what my mind is. But, but, but hear brothers. me out, my brother. Don't be a pawn in the man's chess game. <laughs> that's all I want you to understand, my brother. What? Is this not a prime example of black on black quarterback crime? Is that not what what? Is black the man not putting crime. one black man up against another black man as quarterbacks to define this, who he really is? This. Is that not what's going on, my brother? I know you Mike was like, what? Dog, to know I know it. Hmm? <laughs> bro, you lost me with that, bro. Like, like I mean, you, this you, is nothing but the man putting our black man up against another the black man, man and oh watching them tear each other down. Is that not what's going on, my brother? Do you not see the picture, my black brother? Huh? Do you not see what is going on between you and Geno Smith? They are putting you up against one another. That's what they do to drag us apart. Do you not see it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I see it. I see it, but... <laughs> Man, I don't really understand all that. Like, we talking about football. This is a radio show. What are you talking about? This is football, but here they are putting you in an arena and watching you tear one another down. Oh. This is nothing but Game of Thrones in an arena of football. Game, Game of, of Thrones? Thrones? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I'm going to hang this phone. I'm going to get off this phone. Hey, Mike, I, I, I want to apologize again, man. I have right here on the line a future Hall of Famer, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. This... Come on, man. Let's talk football, okay? We got Manny out of the Bronx. Manny. Hey, Mike. What's up, Manny? What's going on, brother? Hey, welcome to New York City, man. Glad you could be here. Thank you, man. For, Manny, let me stop you for a minute, man. Can you ask me a question that's strictly about football and not go, <laughs> Dude, going off the deep end like one. every other caller that, that came on to the show, man? We're trying to have a nice call the show here. And, you know, just kind of keep everything in perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm excited about you playing football, brother. So Thanks. I don't know what everybody Thanks. else is going off on the tangent on. I know you're going to give New York what we're looking for. I know you're going to come out and do your thing, man. I love your work, uh, your work ethics, man. I like what you do when you're out there on that field. Here's a question I got, a little sidebar for you, though. Fluffy and I can't make the game, okay? What? Fluffy and I can't make the game. But here's what I wanted to ask you, man. Hold on, who is Fluffy? I'm sorry, Fluffy. Fluffy is is, is uh, uh, my poodle, my huh? dog. Fluffy is my is my poodle. Huh? And I wanted to ask you this, man. Fluffy you is spicy. You Do you know a, a, a poodle ring that I could put Fluffy in, and Fluffy might, you know, because Fluffy likes to fight. And I want to know if there's a ring out there I could get Fluffy involved. Hold on, bro. I can't. No, hold on, bro. Yes. That's cold, bro. Niggas say Fluffy is... Oh. Uh, I, oh. <laughs> he said, I don't know what everybody else talking about, but... I got a quick sidebar real quick, man. But, you know, Fluffy and I can't make the game. This nigga saying, who is much. Fluffy? <laughs> I don't know how much oh, I can make it, bro. He uh, said, who is Fluffy? He said, hold on, man. Who is Fluffy? Oh, Hello, up. bro. I'm about to fail, you I can't. I'm about Poodle to fail. ring that I can put on. Who is Fluffy? Oh, okay. What? Fluffy and I can't go sidebar for you, though. I Fluffy gotta take and I that back. can't make the game, okay? Oh, my God. Fluffy and I can't make the game. But here's what I wanted to ask you, man. Oh. Uh, who is Fluffy? I'm sorry. Fluffy Fluffy is, is, is uh, uh, my poodle, my dog. Fluffy is my is my poodle. And I wanted to ask you this, man. Fluffy is feisty. Do you know... Uh, a, a poodle ring that I could put Fluffy poodle in. Fluffy ring, might, bro. You know, because Fluffy likes to fight. And I want to know if it's a ring out there I could get Fluffy involved in. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I, 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 no comment. But what about Fluffy, though? Hey, listen, man. I think you need to educate yourself on animal welfare. And, I, 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 uh, uh, hey, hey. Take the background on things that I, I've done. 
uh, with humane society. I, I don't I'm condoning that. And I think you should uh, just more more so look into uh, being an animal lover as, as opposed to thinking negative thoughts about it, man. It's, uh, it's a lot of good that you can do with that. And, and really, you sound, you sound he like tried to turn that around, man. He did. To get off the phone and anybody else uh, with some, some questions uh, in that regard. Uh, you shouldn't even call up right now. This is this is uh, a part of positive motivation and him me being here in New York. That's what I'm here to talk you, you, about. You know what? You know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. You know what? I I I, I can't I can't allow this. Like Mike, I, first of all, I apologize. I can't allow these callers me to continue Fluffy to call can't in make the here. game. With these you, idiotic man. statements, these idiotic questions, and, and I'm He's not going to allow this, it. I, I want to first apologize to hey, you. Hey Paul, hey Paul, let's 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 pause for a minute and, and just backtrack for a second. And let me be the first to say I want. I want to thank you for allowing me to be on your show. Man, you uh, very did do, man. What's you know, and I was I was honored to get on your show today. But let, let me just speak. Let me just speak for a second from my perspective. No more phone calls. I I, I don't really <laughs> boast on myself, but I, I do a great job in you know serving in the community. I did a great job serving you know for my people. You know the HSUS. I've been doing all the right things since I came home from prison, man. Obviously, you know I feel like I got a lot to bring to New York. A lot of energy still got some left in the tank, and you know, through all my diligent efforts, I've been trying to be the, be the best person that I can be, and, and change for the better, and help masses of people grow. So, look, man, that's that's my piece. Of, everybody out there who listening, man, take that away from this show, because obviously we got some crazy irate questions, and I tried to keep my composure and not get irate, but I wanted to snap on a couple of those dudes, but I just kept my composure, you know what I'm Man. saying? No, 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 you, you, you really did. You really did. I mean, you really, you, uh, you kept your composure. Out of there, bro. And I commend you on it. That you nigga really say fluffy. Hey, Mike, so one more <clears> thing <throat> before you go. Um, are you familiar, uh, uh, are you familiar with, um, with Jason Peters? Yeah, that's my man. Well, check this out. Are you familiar with nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show because your boy Jason Peters got me to prank phone call uh, you. Michael uh, Vick, you just got pranked. <laughs> Yo. This is me, man. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, brother. I got, I, just, I got you, man. That was a good you. one, bro. Oh, it was. Get the f- out Your of boy here. Jason Peters, man, got me to prank That was a good one. That was. Hey, man, what's up, man? What's up, nephew? Ty? How you doing, man? Hey, yo, you said Jay, I got something from y'all. I got something from y'all. Man, I'm out of there. You let him know that, man. man I ain't gonna lie to you. I was waiting on you, Mike. I was uh-huh. waiting on you to crack. I said, I said, one of these four questions has got to make Mike crack. <laughs> yeah. But you held <laughs> your own. You got a little edgy for a minute, but you 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 rolled it out, man. You a trooper. The poodle one. I was about to get my agent on the phone. I ain't know. What type of interview this was? I was that was crazy. Mike, you good, man? Try to be professional, man. I'm out of there. He, he did. Much love to you, Mike, man. I can't wait to see you on the gridiron. I hope you do your thing, man. I really do. All right, baby. You'll see me out there. Keep rooting for me. Thank you. All right, and much success to you, your foundation, your family, everything. All right. Oh, that's man. from me. That's from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. We got love for you, boy. Thank you, man. Y'all hilarious, man. Y'all play too much. You one of the baddest quarterbacks in the land, but you got nah, to let you. me know what is the baddest radio <coughs> show in the land. Man, you already know, Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> hey, 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 yo, Tommy, look, t- check this out, man. Um, you know, I'm putting on the comedy show, kind of a. Oh, they doing some more yeah. promo. But hey, bro, that, that, that was, was hilarious, bro. The nigga said, yo, you, he, you, he, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm, tr- I'm trying to trying to get my dog in the poodle ring, bro. He like, said me and Fluffy can't make it out to the game. That was that he was He said, Hold on, man. That was that was good. He said, Are you serious? He said that man, one, was Fluffy. That one almost <laughs> broke me for sure. Uh, no, nah, for sure. It definitely did. Good After one, the good Geno one, Smith one too. Yeah, nah. With that the one. um black man versus black man. Yeah, nah, that was Good one, man. Another great uh, prank from Nephew Tommy. Man. And as you can tell, this back in the day, man. This mm-hmm. Vic was still out there, man. Mm-hmm. Definitely one of the best quarterbacks that ever touched the field, man. So, hey, if y'all enjoyed that video, man, make sure you want to like, subscribe. Let us know what other Nephew, nephew Tommy videos we need to be checking out, man. Sure. Keep on uh, sharing these videos, subscribing, and keeping God first. Sure. Always. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace out. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me.